Hello everyone. One of the first steps after an attacker gains that initial access to a compromised system by compromising an end user's credentials is to elevate up to domain administrator. In order to make that possible, one of the first steps the attackers will do is check to see what current privileges and user do I have. So we'll check and see who they're running under. The next thing they'll do is check to see what privileges this user has on the system. And as we can see here, this user is a member of the local administrator group. This actually is bad practice and should, something organizations should try to avoid because it means that they've only a few more steps they can elevate up to full domain administrator. So some of the first techniques they'll do is they'll download some additional tools. So let's go ahead and check some of those tools that I would download. For example, one of the first things is as a local administrator, I would go and disable the local security on the system only even for just for a small period of time. So I can then carry out additional malicious activity. The next thing they'll end up doing is going and downloading tools like Mimikatz that will allow me to extract passwords and clear text. But in later operating systems, before I can do that, I will then have to go and enable some registry settings. Here, this will enable some registry settings that will allow passwords to be remaining in clear text. And after doing that, I will then run a script that will dump the credentials. And of course, you're going to do this periodically because you want to get the administrator to log on to the system after making that change. So let's say that I've been able to lure the administrator onto the system. They've typed their credentials in um, and then left um, after doing some work. Now, after running this dump credentials again, I should be able to get that credentials in clear text. So let's go ahead and see what I've been able to can, you know, gather on this system. So now we can scroll up and see after running this periodically, um, we can see if we've been able to capture the domain administrator's credentials on the system, giving us full elevation to the domain controller. So let's scroll up and see what we've been able to find. And this is a very common technique for attackers. And here we go. We've been able to get the administrator for the matrix domain and the password in clear text. Once I've been able to gather that, the next thing the attacker will do is then look to actually go and log on to the domain controller. And they will go and basically RDP from a compromised system. And now they have full domain administrator rights, all because this system had a user who was in the local administrator group, only from a few steps, compromising and owning this entire domain. So best practices, make sure you practice the principle of least privilege and don't give end users local administrator rights.